Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me which includes skincare and makeup. I'm going to be targeting pigmentation. It's one of the questions I get asked the most on my channel. Lots of you know that I suffer with melasma. I've been on a journey for a couple of years. My melasma first came out when I was 30. The last couple of years I've been on a bit of a journey to kind of try and get rid of the visible pigmentation but suppress it from coming out anymore because you can't get rid of melasma but you can manage it. So I'm excited to partner with Alginist, which is a skincare brand that have brought out a product that reduces the discoloration on the skin. So if you suffer with pigmentation or dark spots, then this product is definitely gonna be for you. So I'm gonna do my skincare first, then I'm gonna show you this makeup look, which targets pigmentation at the same time as creating a bit of a bronzy feel. We've just come out of the end of summer, we're entering autumn, so I wanted to do something a little bit autumnal and a bit of a bronzy feel to match those autumnal colors that we've got on the eyes. I'm also going to show you how to cover the pigmentation. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove my eyelashes. Always pull them from the outside in. So, so simple. If you do struggle, just put your finger onto the corner of your eye and then pull it gently outside inwards. The first product I'm going in with is the Alginus Genius Melting Cleanser. This is going to remove all of my makeup. So you only need a small amount and you can use this both day and night. So you apply this to dry skin, oh my god it's so so silky, and it turns into a luxurious oil, it's lovely, and this will remove all makeup. So work it in circular motions, even your eye makeup. These are your lightest fingers, so use those ones because they're the most gentle across your skin. So once you've worked all of that in, you can then use a microfiber cloth to remove the Genius Melting Cleanser. So I'm going to take my white cloth and ruin it. God, you don't even want to see this. It's so good at removing makeup. I always gently pull down my lid and just work that between the root of the eyelashes. You have to be really gentle, but because it's a microfiber, it literally removes everything. Also, blink onto it to remove any makeup between my lashes. There's no need to have panda eyes. So let's see how good it is at removing makeup. This is how it looked before, but it literally comes up so white, but that is all my makeup. But look how clean my face is. No major rubbing needed. The melting cleanser literally gets rid of everything. So the first ingredient in the blue algae vitamin C dark spot correcting peel is glycerin. It's a humectant base and that keeps the vitamin C stable, which also prevents your skin from drying out after use. That's why there's no downtime and you can use it twice a week. So the vitamin C activates once it's in contact with water. So I'm gonna use the alginist Splash Hydrating Mist Spray and I'm going to just make sure that my skin is really visibly damp. So quite a bit of this. So now my skin's damp, I'm going in with the Blue Algae Vitamin C. So this is the Dark Spot Correcting Peel as you can see and what gives it its distinct blue colour is spirulina. There's no added colourants to it and spirulina, if you don't already know, has a naturally rich concentration of vitamin C in its active state. It's like having a spa at home, it smells so beautiful. It's got like a lavender scent to it. It's so silky and as you can see once you blend it in that blue really disappears but it instantly tingles so so tingly it's not uncomfortable but it really does tingle during our zoom meeting when i was learning about the product i got to see that acids mixed in with other natural ingredients the blue algae that alginists use was the most effective the deeper the blue color out of all the different pots was the most potent so it was really interesting to see the ingredients all being tested and how that proved that the blue algae was the most effective. The only areas I normally would avoid is just the lip area and just around the orbital section of your eyes. And you're gonna leave that on for 20 minutes. So this actually contains AHA, BHA and PHA and that is going to resurface and exfoliate your skin which over time is going to reduce the appearance of dark spots and pigmentation. Most pigmentation, especially when it's caught early, is sitting on the surface of your skin. The longer you leave that, especially with melasma, over time it becomes deeper, which is very hard to target. So this is a product that you wanna get early and use twice a week to start targeting surface pigmentation and that's going to lift it off with time. So exfoliating and resurfacing your skin removes that pigmentation. So I'm gonna put a picture on screen of my pigmentation from a couple of years ago. It came out when I was 30 and 
it got really, really bad and I didn't know what it was. I didn't know how to target it. It's also linked to hormones, which is very frustrating. But while it's sitting on the surface, I can target it to remove that surface pigmentation so it doesn't get any deeper and it won't get any worse over time. So the blue algae also contains azelaic acid. I've spoke about this ingredient before. It's fantastic at leaving your skin super smooth and it works really well in conjunction with vitamin C for helping discoloration to the skin. And again, this product can be used whether you're extremely fair or very very deep it is great for all skin tones so the blue algae vitamin c's efficacy is significantly boosted when it's paired with alginous patented ingredient algoronic acid from algae so when the two are paired together really help to significantly reduce fine lines and wrinkles and obviously discoloration to the skin so that's been on for 20 minutes i'm going to remove it what I love about removing this is it's so cool on your skin it's really refreshing it really does leave your skin feeling just renewed it's so lovely and again there's no downtime with it i like that it always leaves my skin looking really bright and hydrated and again it's really helping to diminish those surface pigmentation areas that i've had throughout the summer months i've been really good this year religiously worn a hat which has made the world of difference but that little bit that i've got that really bothers me i'm now concentrating on to remove before i get married but as i've said many times before removing pigmentation is a marathon it's not a sprint it's something that doesn't happen overnight i love this product it's like nothing i've ever used before all of my skin feels super resurfaced. The only time I've kind of had that sensation is when I've been to a salon to have something specifically done. Um, and they always come with a little bit more downtime. This is great because it's something I can do at home. Um, and it's genuinely speaks for itself. If you try it, you'll know exactly what I mean. You feel it and you think, I feel like I've had something done. <laughs> it's the perfect base for makeup. Now my skin's dry, I'm gonna go in with Alginist Genius Sleeping Collagen. So this has been formulated with the highest concentration of active vegan collagen. Gives the skin a more cushioned appearance. And again, you put it on and it just melts into the skin. It goes so, so soft and silky. It's just really luxurious. It's an anti-aging product because it contains alginous patented algoronic acid, which really does target fine lines and wrinkles. It's a great one to apply before you go to bed, but it also works as a nice makeup base, especially if you're someone with drier skin. So now we're going to move on to makeup. So if you want to try the alginous blue algae vitamin C dark spot correcting peel, you can get it at Cult Beauty and I will link it in the description bar for you. If you try it, let me know what you think. So it's really important once you've applied a peel to your face to apply some SPF to your face. I'm going to use the Dr. Sam Bunted Flawless Daily Sunscreen. This is a broad spectrum SPF 50. This is a great one if you have blemish prone skin. It's non-comedogenic, it's fragrance free. It contains 5% niacinamide which is really great for smoothing out your complexion. It's also a great base for makeup because it has a soft focus primer like finish. So I'm just going to apply a pump of that to my face. Now with this sunscreen it is SPF 50, but in order to make it SPF 50, one pump is just not sufficient. You need three pumps of the sunscreen in order for it to be effective. If you only have half the amount, then you're only getting SPF 25 as opposed to SPF 50. It's so smooth and so silky. Even if you're indoors, a broad spectrum SPF is great because the UVA is for aging, the UVB is for burning. The UVA is really important because that's the rays that come through the window. It's kind of the ones that you're just getting throughout the day. The UVB rays are like when you're on holiday and your skin starts to burn, that's what it blocks against. So a broad spectrum SPF is really really good because it covers you for both. This week I bought the Estee Lauder Double Wear Instant Fix Concealer and I'm going to use the Hydra Prep side underneath my eyes. So this side is going to hydrate and plump underneath the eye. It's going to absorb the Hydra Prep and that's going to plump the skin so that the concealer doesn't sit and look cakey or enhance any fine lines. So use your ring finger to press that in underneath the eyes really gently. I tried this out the other day and it was really really good. I didn't get any crease in. I kept looking in the mirror all day, checking it. It was really good. I'm quite impressed. The foundation I'm using this week is by Too Faced. This is the Born This Way Matte Foundation. This is a 24 hour wear foundation. It's full coverage. I am oily, so the matte finish is gonna work in my favor. And then I can put highlight and glow where I want it. There is a massive 35 shade range in this foundation. And the shade I'm using is Natural Beige. My skin is tanned from the summer. And because I do have pigmentation and melasma, I keep my face out of the sun, so it ends up always staying a lot paler. 
So during the summer, I need to just go a little bit darker with my foundation so that it matches my body. If you can see, this is a natural tan from the summer and then the foundation matches my body. As we know, hyaluronic acid is a great ingredient. It'll always attract water, boosting that natural hydration to your skin. So even though it's a matte finish, it's not a drying finish. As I said, there is a huge shade range. So there is definitely something for everybody. All skin tones, whether you're super fair or super deep. So when you do go a little bit darker with your foundation like I'm having to, you do want to bring some life back to your skin. I see a lot of Instagram videos where this section here just doesn't match the rest of the face. It looks like it's too light and too dark and it's like you can just see makeup. It's almost like paint by number. So when I'm talking about bringing life back to the face, we're just talking about taking it a shade or two lighter so that it looks natural, so the face doesn't look so flat. The reason I've chosen this particular foundation is that it is long wearing and it is full coverage, which is a great starting point when you're covering your pigmentation. You want something that you know where it's not gonna move throughout the day, and then it's not gonna take a ton of concealer to cover. As I mentioned, this can take up to eight uses before you really start to see that that surface layer of your pigmentation is starting to diminish. So in the meantime, you want to cover up your pigmentation as best as you can. That being said, when I wear a very lightweight tinted moisturizer, I will then go in with something like the Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer because that one really packs a punch with coverage. I can go in and target the areas that I need to conceal. So I'm gonna go back in with my concealer by Estee Lauder. This one is in 2N, which is light medium in a neutral finish. So I'm gonna take that underneath the eyes, also on the inner corner, around here, because I tend to get redness around this bit. But I also want to bring a little bit of life back to the center of the face, so we're gonna lighten the center. So similar to the foundation, this is a 24 hour concealer. Again, it's going to give us that coverage, it's going to give us the security that it's not going to move. This one is a lighter shade to bring brightness to the skin. To blend it in, I'm using a synthetic blending brush. My problem area of pigmentation is a little bit across here, just where you can see it almost looks like I'm constantly frowning. So it's really weird or it comes up in the areas that your face creases. And I have a little bit here. It is a lot better than it used to be. I don't want it to look like I'm constantly frowning when I'm not. I really, really like to use the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. It's one of my ultimate favourites. It's incredible at camouflage and it doesn't look cakey on the skin. So I'm going to use the shade Nude. When my pigmentation was quite bad, I did a video using the exact same product and showing you how incredible it is at camouflaging the pigmentation which I'm going to put a little clip on screen for you now. That was the first time I'd used it and I was literally blown away by it. So taking a synthetic brush, I'm going to pop that on the area where the pigmentation is. And then using my finger, I'm going to tap over the top. And stipple that in until it's no longer visible and neither is the pigmentation. It's always ideal, even though it can be costly, to have two shades so that you can completely adjust it all year round to suit your current skin tone. It really is so, so good. So I think you'll agree that my skin looks pretty flawless. I'm just going to do my brows off camera and then I'll come back and we'll do the eye makeup. The eyeshadow palette that I'm using today is this Khaki Haze palette by Huda Beauty. This contains five matte shades and four shimmers. I'm taking this light toned warm brown shade and popping that into the crease of my eye using a fluffy blending brush by MAC. I'm layering this shade twice and I'm blending it up and out towards the eyebrow bone. This is going to be our transition shade. Going back to the palette I'm taking number three which is a duochrome eyeshadow. With many duochrome eyeshadows you can use them wet, I just find this sealed the top of the eyeshadow so I definitely recommend using it dry rather than damp. However, it is a stunning, stunning colour. Then I'm going into this medium brown khaki colour and I'm using a small blending brush to work that into the socket of the eye. So blending it on top of the transition shade but not taking it higher than the transition shade. Then I'm going back in with my MAC blending brush and buffing over it until it almost becomes completely seamless. Going into the warmest brown in the palette, using a flat shader brush, I'm pressing that onto the mobile lid, so we are patting it ever so slightly on top of that khaki green shade, and tapping it down towards the eyelashes. I'm leaving the very centre with no colour, because we're going to apply a shimmer here. Before I do that, I'm going back in with my MAC blending brush to make sure everything is seamless. This is my favourite eyeshadow in the palette, this is a metallic copper. 
and I'm choosing to use my finger rather than a brush because I find the finger picks up the eyeshadow better and it also places it better on the eye. This is going in the very centre and up to where the eye naturally creases before going in with this shade which I'm going to layer over the top but I'm also going to extend past the crease of the eye towards the eyebrow bone. When this catches the light it's going to make the lid look a lot longer. It's a good tip if you've got small eyes. Next I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Classic Brown Eye Pencil. We're going to blink onto the tip of the pencil to tight line the eye which gets rid of any pinky tones. We're also going to run that along the waterline and then between those lower eyelashes. This is going to be a nice base for the eyeshadow that we apply over it. So I'm taking a small brush and blending that pencil between those lower eyelashes to smoke it out. I've also included it on the top lid on the outer third of the eye. Just for those of you that don't wear eyeliner, that's a nice option for you because it frames the eye. I'm actually going to be going in with a black liquid liner, but before I do that, I'm just mimicking the eyeshadow from the top lid onto our lower lid. So we're applying the warm orangey tone right in the centre and then the warm brown either side. This is an exciting new product from Eyelore. This is their Lash and Line 2-in-1 Liner and Glue. So apply like you ordinarily would with a normal liquid eyeliner. Now you need to apply two to three coats of this and then you lay your eyelashes down and press it against the glue and it's phenomenal, it's really, really good. I think this is going to be a game changer for those of you that struggle with the corners of your eyelashes because this really does hold them in place. It must dry down because I don't recall any sticky residue. If you found any part of it to be sticky, you could just set it with black eyeshadow. The eyelashes I'm using are by Eye Candy London and these are the Sky Lashes. So I'm pressing the centre of the eyelash in place first, then the outer edge and then the inner corner. It is so, so good that once it's in place it really doesn't move. Once my anchor points are in place I use my finger to press the lash backwards and manipulate the shape of it. Once both lashes are on they look like this, they're so wispy and pretty. Then I'm just going to use some Air Volume Mascara by L'Oreal, this is a new one. It's got a lovely multi bristle wand. I'm going to blink onto that just to seal my natural lashes with the falsies but also to coat them so they're a little bit darker. It's a really nice mascara, very very affordable. It's not the blackest of black but it's still dark. And then lastly popping some of that on my lower eyelashes. Taking one of my favourite bronzers, this one is the Endless Summer Bronzer by Ben Minerals in the shade Faux Tan. I'm going to take my So Eco bronzing brush and warm up the skin. If you suck in your cheeks, it will automatically get a nice definition going on and we're going to pop our brush into that section and work it backwards and forwards. This is going to sculpt the face. I'm also taking it around the hairline. Don't forget your neck as well. So this has a very subtle radiance to it. It's not like it's got tiny light reflecting pigments, but it does have a beautiful sheen. So you can just see on my cheeks. It gives a lovely sheen. For blush today, I'm going to use the Nude Sticks Nudies Bloom in the shade Poppy Girl. This is a bit of a reddish kind of tone, which is lovely for that bronzed feel that we've got going on. And these give off a really lovely dewy finish. And I'm going to pop this onto the apples of the cheeks and pull the colour backwards. Now, don't be afraid when it comes out quite bright to begin with, because it is an intense shade. We're going to blend it down. So I've applied it with my brush, and I'm going to tap it in with my finger. The finger's going to pick up a little bit of the excess product and just disperse it. You see the difference when you start to blend it out? And using your fingers is a great, great tool. So that's giving our cheeks a subtle flush of colour compared to how it first goes on. Um, you can leave it quite intense if you want to, but I like to really blend it into the skin so it almost looks like a natural flush that comes from within, but we get a beautiful dewy glow. On the lips, I'm going to use this Holiday Collection Lip Gloss by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to go in with this shade here because it kind of matches that autumnal colour that we've got on the eyes. This shade is called Bubbly and it's got a kind of goldy undertone. Um, and this is a limited edition set. So if you're interested in trying it out, definitely get your hands on it before it gets completely sold out. It's got a gorgeous vanilla scent to it. It's really nice because when you move your head around, it looks like you've not really got a lot on. And then when it hits the light, it's like, bam, it's really, really reflective and it's so, so pretty. And that's how I achieved the makeup look that I started with at the beginning of the tutorial. I want to show you guys how I achieved it. So I hope you love it. 
So I hope you guys really enjoyed today's Get Ready With Me. It was really fun to do some skincare to target pigmentation because it is a question I get a lot, especially about my melasma. So I hope it's of interest to you. I'm going to link everything you need to know about the Alginist Blue Algae Vitamin C Dark Spot Correcting Peel. If you are interested in trying it, I'm going to link it below in the description bar along with all the products I've used today. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please give the tour a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Come follow me outside of YouTube on my social handles, which will be on screen for you now, and I will see you next week.